Welcome back to the Dr. Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium here at Taligaon Plate on your Panchi Goa. You are going to witness a exciting doubles match here. The men's doubles quarterfinals to be played between Goa's Arjun Ferrari, Tejan Ferrari, the Falari brothers will take on Nitin Hv and Prithvi Roy K from Karnataka. This is the men's doubles quarterfinal straight away resuming the action here in the individual championship. Earlier today in the morning session we witnessed some exciting matches in the mixed doubles and singles category here and continuing with the individual championship we are now going to see a men's doubles outing for the first time today on court number one you're watching the live telecast of badminton event here at the 37th national games goa 2023 my co-commentator sham gaukar is here with me sham this is going to be an exciting challenge for our Goan players, Tejan and Arjun, both the brothers coming from a very, very hardcore badminton loving family. And they are going to take on Karnataka's uh, pair of Nithin and uh, Prithvi Roy. जी हाँ दोस्तों साथियों जैसे कि नीरज ने कहा कि ये गोवा प्लेयर्स जो है वो अच्छे दिखाने की डेफिनेटली कोशिश करेंगे और उनको चेयर अप करने के लिए हमारे जो स्टैंड है ऑडियंस स्टैंड है वहाँ भी ढेर मात्रा में ऑडियंसेस स्पेक्टेटर्स है लगता है कि एक मैच बहुत ही धमाका करने वाली है क्योंकि बहुत ही अच्छा बैडमिंटन का क्वार्टर फाइनल्स आज से शुरू हो गया है अभी शाम तक शुरू होने वाले हैं और इस मैच का आंखों देखा हाल लेके हम दूरदर्शन के माध्यम से आपके यहाँ डेफिनेटली पहुँच रहे हैं तो आप थोड़ा सा इंतज़ार कीजिए थोड़े से इंतज़ार के बाद गोवा का जो फलारी ब्रदर्स है उनका कमाल हमें देखने को मिलेगा कर्नाटक और गोवा ये दोनों ही खिलाड़ी दोनों ही टीम के खिलाड़ी आमने सामने जूझने वाले हैं कुछ ही पलों में we are expecting a high flying slam here in the men's doubles matchup between the Falari brothers and the duo from Karnataka. We have seen their performance earlier in the badminton event when it was team championship being played. All these players had taken part in the doubles event as well and were pretty good in their own rights. Of course, Karnataka went on to win the gold medal in the men's team championship. Both Tejan and Arjun played with different partners in the men's doubles category in the team championship and really got going with some stunning attacks and also drew a big applause from the spectators turning in and obviously supporting the local players so here also let's let's expect some more crowd coming in on the sunday evening as we are all set for an evening of four matches back to back coming your way on doordarshan Easy put away here for Roy Prithvi and the Karnataka, Karnataka pair gets off the mark. The first point for Goa cheered loudly by the spectators in the galleries. A quick body attack receiving there by Prithvi Roy and that's how the doubles warfare begins. It's all about pouncing on the opportunity. Early days here. Arjun not yet settled obviously and the mistake that comes from his racket. 
this time again an easy put away for Nitin as the lift is not that great and it's short as well Nitin being a tall player can capitalize easily it's 4-1 for Karnataka pair well well that's a little bit of a uh, mistake by Arjun is not able to cover it quite quickly and another point goes Karnataka's way so the errors are flying in thick and fast from the Goan team already trailing by five points A good point earned here that will give them a lot of confidence and the Ferrari brothers will hope they can get their act together show good composure and cohesion as a team 2-6 stage in Ferrari to serve Bodhiach has smash Karnataki team say score 7 Two at the uh, moment, or both the body a match, uh, Yahan de Kumilre, both fast, speedy match for a uh, Shama Prasad Stadium K is called number X, se art, doki, badat, banayo, he, Karnataka, a dono he players, Karnataka to serve eight two. Three eight, uh, go up. three eight is the score at the moment. बहुत ही बढ़िया कोशिश थी लेकिन नेट स्कोर चार आठ चार आठ चार अंकों की बढ़त लिए हुए कर्नाटक की टीम गोवा तुसाओ बहुत ही और एक बार बहुत बढ़िया कोशिश फ्रॉम गोवन प्लेयर्स स्कोर मोस्ट ऑफ फाइव एट और दर्शक उतनी ही मात्रा में बहुत दाद देते हुए गोवा टू साउ फाइव एट इस टाइम अ बिट ऑफ lack of positioning skills here and that cost go on another point here it's 9-5 in the favor of uh, Karnataka players but a good engaging battle developing Our Igbar Bohati Badia Koshish from the Govan teams a score 10-5 at the moment 10-5 Karnataka is leading by 5 points what's over this the match should I then? Oh, that's unlucky for Goa and Karnataka take a six point lead and go up to 11 points. Goa left behind at five. The game one has come to the halfway mark, and it's Karnataka's Nitin HV and Prithvi Roy K who are in a very, very good position. On the court number two, Cohen girls are in action. Lydia Barreto and Anaga Karandikar are playing against Maharashtra Simran Singhi and Ritika Thakkar. The match is uh, developing into a close affair. Singhi and Thakkar are in a two point lead as of now. But coming back to the court number one, you see Maharashtra's Nitin will serve 11 5. निरज जहाँ तक खेल का सवाल है यहाँ सुबह से जो जल्दी जब पहले से ही जबरदस्त मैच का आगाज शुरू हो चुका है बहुत स्पीडी खेल हो रहा है हाँ वेरी वेरी एक्साइटिंग एंड स्मैशिंग एक्शन फॉर शर्ट सिंस मॉर्निंग द इंडिविजुअल इवेंट्स आर ऑलवेज हैविंग मोर जील देन टीम इवेंट्स एज इट्स नॉकआउट pile up the points, add up to the Italian, win their matches. So here,
The Karnataka duo are hammering, but this time they don't get it right. And with that error, Goa get a point. It's 6-13. Bodhi Acha placement from Karnataka. 14-6 is the score. Very good smash here by Tejan Ferrari. He knew exactly where the spot is and he smashed it there. There was no way the pair from Karnataka were retrie retrieving that. 8-14, Arjun Ferrari to serve. और एक बार कोशिश लेकिन नेट टोटल स्कोर 914 एट द मोमेंट 914 गोवा टू सर्व थ्री कंसेक्यूटिव पॉइंट्स हियर फॉर गोवा नाउ एंड द लीड हैज बीन कट टू जस्ट फोर पॉइंट्स गुड गोइंग फॉर द गोवन्स सो फार हियर Karnataka duo of HV Nitin and uh, Prithvi Roy K taking on Ferrari Tejan and Arjun. This time Arjun's return wasn't in the direction he would loved it to be and Karnataka get the point. Once again, the crowd cheers loudly and you know who got the point. Yes, it's Goan team. That has inched its way to 11. It's very quick on the net here, HV Nitin. And that's another of the skill. you got to be on your toes to finish up the point. Another mistake. By Karnataka player and Goa get a point. It's 12-15, just three points separating the teams. Bhot zordar prayas tha, lekin on net score 17-12. Panch anko ki badat lete huye Karnataka team. I think Arjun has to be little composed and keep an eye on the spot that he wants to finish up his smash at and not find the net again. That's good. That's good. Both the Ferrari brothers who had covered the court quite well and uh, the Karnataka player Prithvi was in two minds on that occasion and finds the net. Wonderful play there by Arjun Ferrari attacking the net and getting in a quick tap cramping Nitin for room and drawing the error body body, uh, body smash from Karnataka score 18-14 yes it was a fantastic smash by Prithvi Roy K that's the way to play a really good smash targeting the opponent's body. Nineteen fourteen, just two points away from their set first set victory. Bhati Badia match kagas yaha Shama Prasad Stadium. बहुत जोरदार प्रयास था लेकिन ऑन नेट 15-19 one point to गोवा अर्जुन एंड तेजन अ पंप्ड अप फॉर दिस ओकेजन इट्स अ ग्रैंड स्टेज दैट दे आर प्लेइंग एट एंड दे नो द गोवन्स आर वाचिंग विथ कीन इंटेंट इट्स अ बिग एडवर्टिजमेंट फॉर गोवन बैडमिंटन एस वेल इफ दे डू वेल हियर Sixteen, nineteen. It's three points difference. The game won in this round of eight, the quarterfinals in the men's doubles. 
सेवेंटीन नाइनटीन इज इसको ट्वेंटी सेवेंटी सिक्सटीन इज द स्कोर गेम पॉइंट फॉर कर्नाटका दिस विल बी द फाइनल इफ दे वीन फिर एक बार वापसी गोवा की 1720 जस्ट थ्री पॉइंट सेवेफ टू इक्वल द स्कोर 2020 फिलहाल 1720 Another error becomes one too many and costs Goa the game now. Karnataka's Nidhin and Prithvi Roy K have pocketed the first game, 21-17. There were moments in this game which had the Goan pair on top, but uh, generally speaking, the duo from Karnataka have looked more composed and more authoritative in terms of their uh, skills. as well as uh, their positioning and uh, their uh, accuracy has also been more than the goan duo the brothers arjun and uh, tejan farari neeraj ek baat humne jaise maine pehle bhi wo kaha ki ek baat maine dekhi hai ki aaj ka jo pehla set tha to itna speedy set tha kahi bhi humne thoda sa defensive stroke nahi dekhe sab aggressive bahut hi aggressive wala hai set tha aapka kya kehna hai Yes uh, generally speaking it's more of an attacking mindset that these players have it depends on the general personality and we have often seen Tejan and Arjun Farari being very aggressive players and we also see the Karnataka duo of Prithvi Roy and Ashwinithin they also want to go for the kill and get the point early they don't engage in rallying too much and that's how we see similar kind of players so it's a close battle for sure 2117 tells you a story that both these teams are generally equally matched as such but it depends on how accurately you're going to finish your points and get those required points to get the game so we begin love all in the second game roy to serve bahut hi badhiya smash ek ek ke barabari both teams are वन इच जैसे कि नीरज ने कहा कि अगर यही स्पीड से अगर दूसरा साइड भी चला गया तो मुझे लगता है कि मैच बहुत ही जल्द ख़त्म होने वाली है तो जो स्पीड हम देख रहे हैं वो स्पीड के अंदाज से अगर हिसाब किया जाए तो आज के मैच जो पहले डीओ क्वार्टर फाइनल है वो जल्द से जल्द ख़त्म करने की सोच में दोनों ही टीम के खिलाड़ी अच्छा प्लेसमेंट करने की कोशिश लेकिन थोड़ी सी गलती दो दोस्त का स्कोर क्लियरिंग एरर बाय कर्नाटक रॉय पृथ्वी वाइल सर्विंग दैट मींस इट विल बी नाउ गोवा टर्न थ्री टू इन फेवर ऑफ गोवा द सेकंड बहुत ही डीप स्मैश फ्रॉम कर्नाटका थ्री इच इज द स्कोर एट द मोमेंट थ्री इच दिस इज वॉट इज सो क्रूशल वेन द स्ट्रैटेजी इज प्लान यू नो यूर ओपोनेंट्स एंड हाउ गुड दे आर ऑन स्मैश सो द प्लेयर्स नीड टू नो देर लिफ्ट हैव टू बी एक्यूरेट दे शुड नॉट अलाउ द ओपोनेंट टू गेट अंडर द शटल सो दैट दे विल नॉट गेट टू द प्रॉपर पोजिशन ऑफ स्मैशिंग बट वी सी generally karnataka players have smashed better than the goan players oh the acha kill from karnataka 
एक पॉइंट की बढ़त लेते हुए कर्नाटका की टीम जिन लोगों जिन्होंने पहला सेट ऑलरेडी अपने नाम कर दिया है ब्यूटीफुल स्मैश अगेन फ्रॉम कर्नाटका सिक्स फोर इज स्कोर छः चार दो अंकों की बढ़त श्यामा प्रसाद स्टेडियम के इस कोर्ट एक पे फिलहाल ये मैच शुरू है और दर्शक बहुत दाद देते हुए गोवा की टीम के खिलाड़ियों की हौसला बढ़ाते हुए अच्छा प्लेसमेंट करने की कोशिश लेकिन अब सेवन फोर तीन पॉइंट्स का इजाफा अगेन आउट एट फोर इज द स्कोर चार अंकों की बढ़त लेते लिए हुए कर्नाटक के दोनों ही खिलाड़ी बहुत जोर से प्रयास था स्मैश करने का लेकिन ऑन नेट स्कोर फाइव एट एट द मोमेंट फाइव एट इज द स्कोर जबरदस्त मैच शुरू है यहाँ के श्यामा प्रसाद स्टेडियम के कोर्ट नंबर एक से वैसा देखा जाए तो चार कोर्ट है चारों ही कोर्ट पे अलग अलग मैचेस यहाँ शुरू है और हम जो लाइव लेके आए वो कोर्ट नंबर एक से गोवा वर्सेस कर्नाटका अच्छा प्लेसमेंट फ्रॉम कर्नाटका नाइन फाइव इज द स्कोर नौ पाँच बहुत ही अच्छी बढ़त लिए हुए कर्नाटक के प्लेयर्स फिलहाल सर्व करने के तैयारी में फिर एक बार आवे टेन फाइव और एक बार तीन बार थ्री पॉइंट्स बैक टू बैक टू कर्नाटका स्कोर इलेवन फाइव प्रूव टू इजी गोइंग हियर फॉर कर्नाटका रॉय पृथ्वी एंड नितिन एच वी इलेवन फाइव इन नो टाइम इन द सेकेंड गेम दे आर हैविंग एन इजी राइड तेजन फारी एंड अर्जुन फारी मस्ट कॉन्श्योर अप something special here that will pose a challenge to the karnataka duo otherwise it will not trouble them and they'll enjoy their way to victory we need to see more stomach for a contest here from our goan duo you're watching the live telecast of the individual events in the badminton event here at the 37 national games which will have in all 43 events being played in goa and over 10000 athletes participating in them look at that so simple kill for prithvi roy k after showing very good retrieving skills with the defensive stance and he had all the answers for the smashes of the ferrari brothers this is the difference the compactness and the maturity of the karnataka players is there for everybody to see the smiles the tap of the hands it tells you a story the nitin and roy combination is thriving नीरज एक के बाद एक जो सेटल है वो बाहर जा रहे हैं थोड़ी सी गलती हो रही है कि और कुछ सम टेक्निकल एरर व्हाट यू थिंक इट्स क्लियर दैट फारी ब्रदर्स आर नॉट इन कंट्रोल ऑफ देयर परफॉर्मेंस द टचेस हैवन बीन राइट एंड टेक्निकली दे हैव बीन एक्सपोज्ड एज वेल this time there's a error from the karnataka player and farari get a point that's the judgment to see so sure roy p that it was 
Shuttle was going out of play and he allowed it to go. 16-6. A lot of difference in quality. This time Arjun gets a smash in good areas and there was no retrieving that. 7-16. Goa trailing by 9 points. Again away. 17-7. At the moment score is 17-7. बहुत ही बढ़िया मैच का आगाज होते हुए 18-7 जस्ट थ्री पॉइंट्स अवे फ्रॉम द सेट एंड मैच विक्ट्री बहुत ही जबरदस्त मैच दोनों ही खिलाड़ी तंदुरुस्त दिखाई देते हुए लेकिन जहां तक खेल का सवाल है कर्नाटक पूरी तरह से हावी हो चुके हैं गोवन प्लेयर्स के ऊपर 18-8 अच्छा प्लेस करने की कोशिश पॉइंट टू गोवा 918 918 इज़ द स्कोर एट द मोमेंट फिर एक बार ऑन नेट एक पॉइंट टू कर्नाटका 18 10 11 18 एक के बाद एक गलतियां हो रही हैं यहाँ कोर्ट एक के ऊपर दोनों ही खिलाड़ियों की तरफ से स्कोर एट बहुत ही जोरदार प्रयास था लेकिन अवे फ्रॉम द कोर्ट ट्वेल्व एटीन छह अंकों की बढ़त बनाई हुए कर्नाटक के दोनों ही प्लेयर और फिलहाल गोवा टू साउ फिर एक बार अवे सो स्कोर 19-12 जस्ट टू पॉइंट्स अवे फ्रॉम देयर साइट एंड गेम विक्ट्री Twenty twelve. Small error from Goan players. Again away. So, इस तरह से twenty one twelve की हिसाब से कर्नाटक ने ये मैच अपने नाम कर दिया है twenty one twelve. बहुत ही बढ़िया मैच यहाँ देखने को मिला जहाँ गोवा के फलहारी ब्रदर्स ने अच्छा प्रदर्शन करते हुए उतना ही अच्छा मुकाबला किया लेकिन कर्नाटक के प्लेयर्स थोड़े से ज़्यादा एग्रेसिव दिखाई देते देते हुए 21-12 की फर्क से उन कर्नाटक की टीम ने गोवा के ऊपर ये जीत दर्ज कर ली है 21-12 फिलहाल 37 नेशनल गेम का आगाज गोवा में ऑलरेडी हो चुका है उसके अंतर्गत बैडमिंटन का खेल यहाँ डॉक्टर श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी स्टेडियम के इस कोर्ट एक पे शुरू है और पहला मैच अब जल्द जल्दी ख़त्म हुआ और हमारे को कमेंटेटर नीरज प्रभु बात करने जा रहे हैं हमारे जो आज के विनर्स है नितिन एच वी एंड पृथ्वी रॉय फ्रॉम कर्नाटका उनसे बातचीत करेंगे कुछ ही पलों में और उसके बाद जो अगला मैच यहाँ खेला जाएगा आदिति भट्ट ऑफ आदिति भट्ट वर्सेस अरिता राव सो फिलहाल जो विनिंग टीम के खिलाड़ी नीरज प्रभु से बात करने के लिए तैयार कुछ ही पलों में ये सीधा प्रसारण दूरदर्शन के माध्यम से आपके यहाँ तक पहुँच जाएगा सो आप स्टेट्यून बहुत ही अगला मैच बहुत ही ज़बरदस्त होने वाला है ओवर टू नीरज फॉर 
लाइव चैट विथ कर्नाटका प्लेयर्स me nidin hv and uh, prithvi roy k of karnataka they have put up a splendid performance uh, to make it to the semi finals in the uh, uh, men's doubles event here uh, your thoughts on the match uh, smooth sailing that was it, isn't it yeah it was a comfortable match and first set was a little tricky because of the support here i think as they are the from the host state they have a they did have a lot of support but uh, it was quite comfortable in the second game for us happy to be uh, playing the semi finals tomorrow prithvi any areas of uh, your game that you want to improve going into the semi finals yeah it was a easy match actually but we just did a lot of mistakes today first game and second game yeah we'll just improve in semi finals obviously you are playing against the top uh, partnership from goa they were brothers they have been playing together uh, since a very long time what about you how has the uh, understanding been how long have you been playing together so well uh, we both were born in the same place and we started playing in the same place so we do have that rapo so and then we have played together for a while so we know what what are his strengths my strengths so we play according to each other's strengths uh karnataka of course the team champions here and now is the individual uh, event time as well so what has been the target how, how do you uh, pep each other up for the remaining uh, competition well we are just going uh, one round at a time so we just don't want to think too far ahead so we are going to focus on the next match and then later think about what's ahead just one match at a time uh, personally speaking uh, have you set any target for the season as well yeah and no, no, there's nothing like that we we'll just focus on one one round yeah well done today all the best for the next round thank you so here you go uh, the karnataka duo of nidin hv and uh, prithvi roy k have done very well so far and they are really keen on keeping up a good show going so over to the commentators uh, box thank you niraj jaise ki hamare niraj ko commentator baat kar rahe the हमारे जो विनिंग विनिंग टीम है फ्रॉम कर्नाटका नितिन एच वी एंड पृथ्वी रॉय जिन्होंने गोवा के अर्जुन फलारी होते अर्जुन फलारी को सीधे सेटों में हारा दिया था और अगला मैच जो ऑन कोर्ट शुरू होने वाला है आदित्य भट्ट पर्सिस अदिता राव कुछ ही पदों में सिंगल का क्वार्टर फाइनल शुरू होने वाला है और इस मैच का जहाँ तक सवाल है तो जो प्रेक्षक है दर्शक है बड़ी मात्रा में यह दर्शक उपस्थित हुए हैं उनको एक अच्छा आगाज अच्छा मैच अच्छा खेल देखने को ज़रूर मिलेगा सो कुछ ही पलों में ये मैच शुरू होने वाली है जहाँ तक बाकी कोर्ट का सवाल है हर एक कोर्ट पे हमारे तीनों ही कोर्ट में और मैचेस जारी है यस वेरी एक्साइटिंग वीमेन्स सिंगल्स मैच इन दी ऑफिंग नाउ it's the quarter finals between international players aditi bhat and adita rao earlier today we saw a fantastic outing there for adita rao as she defeated uh, number 2 seed international player malvika bansod 21 15 in the round of 16 moving over Aditi Bhatt as well followed Adita Rao into the quarter finals as she got a 2-1 victory over Ira Sharma a match that went all the way Aditi Bhatt won the first game 21-18 while Ira Sharma got back 23-21 and 21-16 was what the score was in the third game so here we are beginning the quarter final between aditi bhat and adita rao and the gujarat player adita rao will be serving love all जोरदार प्रयास खेलने की जब कोशिश की जाती है तो 
बहुत बार गलतियां भी होती है टू जीरो इज द स्कोर टू जीरो फिलहाल जो मैच यहाँ खेला जा रहा है और एक छोटी सी गलती थ्री जीरो इज द स्कोर आदिति भट्ट प्लेइंग अगेंस्ट आदिता राव फ्रॉम गुजरात उत्तराखंड एंड गुजरात बहुत ही अच्छा प्रयास और नाइस प्लेसिंग चार शून्य की बढ़त लेते हुए आदिता राव टू साउ जीरो अच्छा प्रयास था प्लेस करने का सो इस तरह से अपना खाता आदिता ने खोल दिया है एक चार स्कोर वन फोर दो चार एट मोमेंट स्कोर इज टू फोर Fantastic rally here, and Aditi Bhatt uh, going on to clinch a point. But you can never discount Aditi Rao. She is a real battler, and the famous story that Aditi Rao made was back in March when she competed the Senior National Badminton Championship with a heavily strapped leg. With a heavily strapped leg, Aditi Rao made it to the semi-finals. and the 18 year old made headlines for her excellent resistance tenacity and resilience dono hi players bahut hi acha prayas karte hue court ek pe jo match filhal shuru hai aditi bhat versus aditi rao score 5 4 That was away from the court. Score six four. This तरह से आदित इस तरह आदिति भट्ट ने बढ़त बनाई हुई है दो पॉइंट की बढ़त सुपर रैली देर just narrowly going out and probably aditya rao also had judged that that return was sailing out and that's the experience and the eye the expert eye that these players have both looking really good here to produce a treat of badminton for all the spectators coming in to on sunday evening at spm stadium aditi bhat also produced fantastic performances in her young age as well just like aditya rao has done with the rise in the national badminton circuit early on aditi of course world rank 86 in the in the world right now 
is a little more experienced than Aditya Rao, but this is this match is even Stevens in the first game. Ek Anka Izafa, eight six. Bhat to serve. Bhati Zodar smash Karnika press, Karti Hit Holisi Chuk, nine six is the score. Bhat nine, Rao six. Shandar placement from Adip Bhatt, point ten six. Seven ten point two Rao Adita Rao to serve seven ten. Nice smash from Bhatt point eleven seven. Perfect ending to the point, and that's the down, down the line winner produced by Aditi Bhatt. The quality is there to be seen, and that takes her to eleven seven in this first game and a mid game break. So, when Aditi Bhatt was 18 years old, she was uh, playing in the international championship and she took a game of world number 13 that time, Busanan Ongbam Rungpan during India's clash with Thailand in the Uber Cup final. And when Aditi Bhatt took a set of the world number 13, she was hailed as the future of Indian badminton. Two years down the line, we have Aditi Bhatia, now age 20. She's already ranked 86 in the world. Acha prayas lekin away from the court. 12-7 is the score. Bara Sat. Nice placement again. Thodi si chuk at bara. Hilal's jo score yaha court ek pe jo match shuru hai at bara. Tera at thirteen eight is the score. Bhat to serve. Zordar smash Karneki Galti or on net score nine thirteen at the moment. Char Ankoki Badat Letiwe The direction was faulty there. You could see she was not in control of that uh, drive, yet she went through with it. This time, Aditi was in total control, going for the forehand in the backcourt of Adita Rao, who's trailing by four points here. Both are sharp placement. Aditi ki dwara 15-10. यहाँ उपस्थित दर्शक इस मैच का आनंद उठाते हुए बहुत अच्छा प्रयास और नाइसली शफल्ड एक पॉइंट के लिए 16-10 
ग्यारह सिक्सटीन इलेवन सिक्सटीन इज द स्कोर उत्तराखंड टू सर्व Beautifully done. This this is her strength. The forehand, overhead forehand of Aditi Bhatt is excellent, and she has got a lot of success rate with that stroke for sure. the quality is here for everybody to see the international badminton players coming to goa for the national games is definitely a treat and more and more younger people and the badminton players from goa need to have a look at this all round expertise of the india players just age 20 aditi bhatt is playing a sensational match here already leading 1911 in this first game the smash is on the money as well and so you see how quickly she has taken a 9 point lead and will now serve for the game in this first game against aditya rao Twenty-one, eleven. Aditi Bhatt has cruised to the first game against Aditya Rao, but uh, you know what Aditya Rao has been made up of. The resilient player from Gujarat will definitely put up a better fight in the second game. We saw earlier today she is shocked. The number two seed, uh, Malvika Bansod. in the round of 16 and here she is playing the quarter finals against aditi bhatt of uttarakhand the footwork from aditi bhatt is just exceptional as she back paddles to play the over the head cross court forehand the the technical ability to get the strokes right is a basic necessity and then you add your stamina and that becomes a deadly combination as a player you need to be ruthless and you also need to have ample stamina and as the uh, and the skills as well technical skills to back it up you need the strategy and here you have your support staff with all your advice and this is the grand stage where you bring all your qualities to the court and display what you got the goan fans here at the stadium are lucky to be watching the national games in front of their eyes and so are the viewers of doordarshan who are watching the live telecast here one all in the second game the owners will be on aditya rao to go in for attack and score those points to strike a level 
this time she was a little late on her retrieving and that has cost her the point you can't get your return right if you're a little late and it's very rare to see people getting it tried right on the second thoughts Aditi Bhatt trying to wrap up the point as soon as possible and falters in the direction of the smash. Good point here, Aditi Rao will get a lot of confidence from that point and she has a two-point lead right now. It's 4-2. Beautifully done, but uh, just a little mistake uh, with her placement at the net and that has hurt Adita Rao, otherwise she played a good point for all. Bodhi Achha Kilkra Pradarshan, score Bhatt 5, Rao 4. Bodhi Zordar Takkar Yaha Dekhne Ko Mil Rahi Hai, Is Shama Prasad Stadium Pe. Dona Hi Khilari Zabardast Kilkra Pradarshan, Karte Huye, Jho Prekshak Hai, Unka ध्यान अपने ओर आकर्षित करते हुए पांच पांच का स्कोर उत्तराखंड वर्सेस गुजरात फाइव फाइव जोरदार स्मैश करने के प्रयास में एक पॉइंट का इजाफा भट्ट सिक्स राव फाइव थर्टी सेवन नेशनल गेम्स के अंतर्गत बैडमिंटन की प्रतियोगिता यहाँ डॉक्टर श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी स्टेडियम पे शुरू है आज इस प्रतियोगिता का चौथा दिन बहुत ही अच्छा प्लेसमेंट करने की कोशिश में थोड़ी सी गलती और एक पॉइंट का इजाफा स्कोर छ छे राव छे Nice smash from Bhatt. 7-6 is the score. 7-6. It's been really confident display so far by Aditi Bhatt. Adita Rao is finding it uh, tough. To enforce her authority, she was uh, very, very good in the morning match against number two seed Malvika Bansod, who crashed out of the individual singles championship here. And one more mistake, Bhatt score 9-6, Bhatt score 9, Rao 6. The score moves to 10-6 at the moment or by Jordar Kati ki takkar hoti huye Bhatt aur Rao ke bich is Shambar Prasad Stadium ke code 1 par. Good 
यहाँ दोनों ही खिलाड़ियों के फुर्तीला अप्रोच देख के जो दर्शक यहाँ बड़ी मात्रा में है उनको एक मंत्र मुग्ध करने वाला एक खिंच एक क्षण है और इसी क्षण के आधार पर स्कोर पहुंचा है टेन सेवन टेन राव टू साउ और एक गलती भट्ट के द्वारा स्कोर एट टेन इस मैच का पहला सेट ऑलरेडी भट्ट ने अपने नाम कर दिया है 21 ग्यारह के फर्क से 21 ग्यारह What a brilliant rally there! You can see the clenched fist, and Aditi Bhatt really enjoyed that point. She takes a three-point lead, going on to 11-8 in a mid-game break, halfway mark in the second game. She already won the first game, 21-11. So Aditi Bhatt in total control here. What a magnificent point that was! Both the ladies showing their talent, their power, their endurance, and covering the court excellently was Aditi Rao there, going from one corner to other, and finally finding Aditi Rao wanting, and that point brings great joy to Aditi Bhatt. A power-packed performance so far by Aditi Bhatt of Uttarakhand. At times she was completely stretched. The retrieving was excellent and then she converted that defensive position into a fine attack. Score 9-11. एक अंकी बढ़त लेते हुए राव नाइन इलेवन Awesome drop shot this time by Aditi Rao of Gujarat. She is a real tough cookie here for Aditi Bhatt, giving a good amount of resistance to Aditi's challenge. Is Aditi Rao? She is ten, trailing by a point ten eleven. Oh, this time this. An error from Aditi Rao's end that helps Aditi Bhatt to make it a two-point lead. She leads 12-10 in the second game. Drop shot, high quality from Aditi Bhatt on the drop shot. This is what you want to come and watch. And since the entry for the national games events is free, people must just run and come here and watch the spectacle unfold. At the highest level. There are so many championships where the entry is by buying a ticket, but this is an 
amazing opportunity for Goans to watch the top Indian players from the close quarters and absolutely free. Look at that last minute dropping of the wrist and the way they execute the drop shot is picture perfect. Aditi Bhatt in action here against Aditya Rao. Absolutely no chance for Aditya Rao to get a consecutive points into her kitty and up her total because Aditi Bhatt has really stamped her authority on this contest. Jordar smash karne ki prayas me thodi si galti. Score 11, 16, 5 anko ki badat banayu hai. Bhatt Rao Gyara, Bhatt 16. अच्छा प्लेस करते हुए एक स्कोर का इजाफा 17 11 चार अंकों का फासला इस मैच अपने नाम करने के लिए भट्ट के पास अभी चार पॉइंट की जरूरत है नाइस प्लेसमेंट फ्रॉम राव 12 17 12 17 इस डी स्कोर है डी मोमेंट और जोरदार मैच का आगाज होते हुए इस शामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी स्टेडियम के कोर्ट नंबर एक से थोड़ा सा मिस जजमेंट तेरह सत्रह थर्टीन सेवेंटीन इस डी स्कोर है डी मोमेंट और बहुत बढ़िया मैच यहाँ जाती हुई दोनों ही खिलाड़ियों के लिए बहुत अच्छा प्लेसमेंट और जानदार शॉट और इस स्मैश के बाद स्कोर एटीन थर्टीन just three points away from her victory. Aditi Bhatt has uh, completely dismantled Aditya Rao's game here in this uh, quarterfinals of women's singles. Nineteen thirteen. Sirf do fastla or filhal jo match. फिलहाल जो मैच यहाँ खेला जा रहा है वो भट वसीस राव लास्ट पॉइंट गेम पॉइंट सेट पॉइंट गेम पॉइंट आदिता राव सेव्स वन मैच पॉइंट शी इज ट्रेलिंग 1420 कैन शी डू समथिंग इनक्रेडिबल हियर no, she can't because Aditi Bhatt has just killed the shuttle and taken a very, very comfortable match here. And she has booked her place in the women's singles semi finals at the 37th National Games. Aditi Bhatt from Uttarakhand wins 21 11, 21 14 in a very, very comfortable manner. Aditya Rao from Gujarat who had sprung a surprise by upsetting Malvika Bansor, the number two seed in the morning session has not been able to make a mark in this quarterfinal against Aditi Bhatt and which means Aditi will make it to the last four stage while Aditya Rao will exit the national games stage. Stay tuned to Doordarshan as uh, Aditi Bhatt will come up in the mixed zone to have 
a conversation with Alroy Fernandez waiting in the mix zone area to have a word with the champion rather to have a word with the winner of uh, this uh, quarterfinal match when speaking face the camera and speak okay i'll hold the mic so you don't have to worry about that Hello everyone, welcome to uh, the 37th National Games being held out here in uh, Goa. We just saw the exciting game which was played right now in the evening half where Aditi Bhatt is been victorious against her competitor from uh, Gujarat. She won in straight sets. Aditi, would you like to talk to us? Uh, what was your experience through the game? How did you manage the game? I think it was a very important match for me because I played in the morning and it was a very long match in the morning. Uh, but I'm happy that I pulled it off easily and uh, I was able to control the shuttle very well because there's a lot of drift here but uh, I'm happy that I won. Speaking about you know uh, playing twice in a day, the fitness levels have to be high. How have you been uh, training so to prepare for this event? Uh, I mean I've been playing back-to-back -back tournaments before coming here so I was just you know trying to save my energy in every point I can and um, I think um, playing in the morning three games was very tough so I was uh, only attacking in this game so I can get easy points um, which was I think which helped me a lot. Uh, speaking about uh, you know you spoke about the drift uh, out here a lot of players saying that they have to get adjusted to the drift how easy or how difficult has it been for you to adjust to the conditions out here? Uh, playing on the uh, fourth court last court uh, it's much better than the first court on the first court there's a lot of drift but uh, uh, from the very beginning of the match I was able to control the drift so yeah it's good all right uh, all the very best for the next set of games uh, we wish you all the very best and we hope you win all right thank you so much yeah. uh, that was Aditi there the winner of uh, the match and we now go back to the commentary box Yes, uh, you could really sense it that Aditi Bhatt was going to go for the kill right away and not uh, get bogged down with energy issues. She played uh, close to an hour in the morning as she defeated uh, Ira Sharma of uh, Haryana. It's time now to focus our attention on the men's singles match and we have here the quarterfinal between K. Gulshan Kumar taking on uh, Saurabh Verma. Both these players played in the morning session as well with uh, Saurabh Verma from Madhya Pradesh defeating Raghu M from Karnataka while uh, Kartikeya Gulshan Kumar defeated Karan Dhawaskar of Goa, 21-8-21-7. Hello folks, a very warm good evening to each and every one of you who are watching the live broadcast of the Badminton Championships being held out here in Goa. The evening set of games has seen exciting encounters. We just witnessed uh, the battle of the Adities, the Aditi Bhatt versus Adit Arau from uh, uh, Gujarat. That was an exciting and thrilling match. Had a conversation with uh, Aditi Bhatt of Uttarakhand there, speaking to us, uh, telling us how the challenges of uh, this tournament, playing on court number one and especially on the corner courts, how important it is to get used to the air conditioning systems out here, to the ventilation systems because of the drift. So it is it is quite complex for the players. They need to uh, understand their game and also need to understand the conditions. Neeraj, she was telling me how difficult it is and she had to bring in a lot of her experience to you know, ensure that she had was victorious. And she was playing in the morning. She played three sets in the morning game. So it was quite tired. So it is a true testament to some of the senior players out here the se when i mean senior i mean the more internationally exposed players who know how to control their games control and conserve energy in a, such a long and lengthy tournament absolutely and that's all an integral aspect of uh, international player if you are ambitious and if you are keen on continuing to play taking the exposure 
and becoming better you have to manage a very tight schedule as well you have to travel you have to train you have to conserve your energy and at the same time you have to aim to win and that's all what you have in Aditi Bhatt she is so uh, determined and she is so passionate about the sport you could see that uh, how she has uh, adjusted to the court and made the conditions uh, uh, so uh, controllable as she won with a very comfortable margin. Let's now shift our attention as Saurabh Verma is about to serve love all. The opening points are going to Gulshan Kumar from Delhi, playing in the fluorescent uh, shirt with black shorts, taking on uh, Verma, who is uh, in pink and blue. Of course, Kartike Gulshan Kumar, the third seeded player in this match, so definitely expectations are high uh, and riding on his shoulders. And let's see if the pressure is going to get to him. It's even Stevens, one all out here at the Shama Prasad Mukherjee Stadium. Fantastic smash there by uh, Saurabh Verma, very experienced player, aged 30 now and is taking on Kartike Gulchan Kumar who is 7 years younger to Saurabh Verma and a rising player in the badminton ranks in India. So a good contest here on the cards. Saurabh Verma defeated uh, Raghu M in the morning. Another young player, Raghu M from Karnataka. Saurabh Verma was absolutely happy with the victory and the way he played as he's putting a very, very... as he's putting a very, very important focus on this National Games outing and he wants to target glory here but standing in his way in this quarter-final is Kek Gulshan Kumar of Delhi. Wow, that was a lovely exchange of uh, hitting and defending. But of course, Gulshan Kumar relentlessly going after that point and succeeding out there. Three all right now in uh, this. Uh, this is the third game of this evening session out here at the court number one. We have Verma, We have Gulshan to serve. And that is out. Gulchan Kumar, of course, the highest seed uh, ranked opponent. The, sec the third seeded player out here in the morning half was up against the local boy in the form of Karan Davaskar. He comfortably went on to win that game 21-8, 21-7, uh, winning the game in, in under 20 minutes made quick work of his opponent so he should be relatively fresh in this game but we will be looking to see how tough a fight his opponent is going to give him this time around and push him more than his previous opponent did the score right now is in favor of uh, uh, Gulchan but of course it is uh, Verma to serve 4-5 Oh, that will hurt Saurabh Verma. There was a clear opportunity of uh, finishing off that with an easy smash in the forecourt. But uh, Saurabh Verma could just stab it into the net. And that means Gulshan Kumar Kartikeya is uh, leading 6-4 in this first game of the quarterfinals.
lot of uh, rally there from both players with Gulshan accurately knowing exactly where the court limits were. Unfortunately for Verma that his accuracy wasn't on point. 7-4 with Gulshan to serve. Uh, this time though, misjudging the part of the bird falling within the court limits according to our match officials. Uh, Gulshan Kumar having a word with the match empire conveying his dismay at that point. 7-5 with Varma to serve. Brilliant jump shot there. No chance for Varma to even attempt a return. Gulshan Kumar leading and serving at 8-5. Karthikeya Gulshan Kumar is a number one ranked player in the Badminton Association of India's rankings this season while Saurabh Varma is at 11th position. So you see on form Karthikeya Gulshan Kumar is way up there. Saurabh Varma having recovered from Covid is making this year his priority to stage a comeback but he's taking every match at a time and hasn't set a personal target as such. But every match at the national stage is, uh, is what he's targeting to do really well. He was earlier today in conversation with Doordarshan and uh, aired his thoughts. Wow, what a what an excellent exchange of points there. Gulshan trying to smash that straight against his opponent, but uh, Varma was well up to the task, defended really well, and of course turned defense into attack, defending that and returning it with such accuracy that Gulshan Kumar had no answer. This is an exciting game of badminton on uh, court number one. Once again, a brilliant set of a rally there with both players up for the match. And that point was a hard fought point for Verma, who is slowly closing in the gap between his higher ranked opponent. 8 10 with Verma to serve. And with that, takes the lead into the break. As you can see, the coach from Delhi having a word with him. Varma has a little bit of water, hydration. And of course, Varma will be looking to gather his thoughts and get back into this game. Saurabh Verma from uh, Madhya Pradesh uh, competing against Kartike Gulshan Kumar of Delhi. Both players going neck and neck. Lots of games happening out here. Pretty sure you can hear the shouts of excitement and the groans of disapproval from the other courts as well. 
action happening on court number two, three, and four. But all the attention from us out here at the Doodarshan Network is on court number one. That is centre court for us. Gulshan Kumar taking on Saurabh Verma. Out is what he thought it was. But of course, our officials deeming that one to be well within bounds. 9-11. This time, Gulshan Kartike Kumar hits it a little long and uh, Saurabh Verma gets a point it's 10 11 it's a very very neck and neck contest here in the men's quarterfinals in the individual events here at the third seven national games go up What an unbelievable rally. Most of it was definitely a defensive uh, outlook as both the players tried to engage it, engage in a rally. And in the end, Kartikeya Gulshan Kumar was the man who blinked first, making a mistake and conceding a point. It's 11 all in this cracker of a contest, the men's quarterfinals. What an outstanding rally here. Gulshan Kartikeya Kumar has uh, just missed out on a fantastic point. It was millimeters maybe. And uh, Saurabh Verma gets the point. But both the players, you must uh, salute their ability here as we see wonderful exhibition of badminton, top quality badminton. And this match is in contrast to what we saw in the last game where the players were going for the points and there were hardly any rallies uh, in the ladies affair between Aditi and Adita but here we see Saurabh and Gulshan, Kum Gulshan Kumar trading long rallies in fact the playing styles of uh, both the players in the previous game was a quick set of points of course Adita Rao in my conversation with her earlier today morning did not want to play long rallies against some of the more illustrious opponents as they are known the international players on the circuit are known for playing long rallies so her game plan was quite simple to keep it short keep it burst of energy and that's exactly what her opponent did in the second game as well and so this this time around on this game on court number one we are seeing a mix of uh, both short bursts of play as well as long rallies and uh, Saurabh Verma is in the lead 13-11 with him to serve as well. A very good half smash here by Saurabh Verma. He knew exactly where he was going to put the shuttle uh, out of reach of uh, Kartikeya Gulchan Kumar and he did it perfectly well. 14-11 is the score in this first game of the men's singles quarterfinals. A three-point lead for Saurabh Verma who is on a comeback in terms of his uh, position in the national badminton circuit of course an experienced international shuttler as well Twelve fourteen, Kartikeya Gulchan Kumar the younger amongst the two definitely has his own 
target here is the number one ranked player right now in the country while Saurabh Varma is uh, 11th. Getting to see an exciting game of badminton out here. Kartike, the top ranked player in uh, the in in India, of course, going up against uh, Saurabh Sharma, Saurabh Verma from Madhya Pradesh. But he trails to Saurabh Verma, literally diving onto the floor to try and save that point, but it wasn't enough. 15-12. Seventeen twelve five point uh, lead here for Saurabh Burma, the experienced shuttler Kartikeya Gulshan Kumar is not happy with the shuttle. Probably wants to change it and Saurabh Burma is having a look. They continue with the same shuttle. This has been a very good contest uh, between both the players. Good quality rallies we have seen so far. Saurabh, <laughs> beg your pardon. Saurabh Verma's uh, smashing has been absolutely amazing he has won more points on his smashes finally Kartikeya Gulchan Kumar gets to change the shuttle he was not happy about it and you can see he's now feeling relieved Saurabh Verma will serve 18-12 a good commanding lead with him now Definitely feeling the pressure there. Lots of uh, points. The difference right now in this game. So uh, being the higher seeded player out here. Would definitely be feeling the pressure in this game. He's, he's trailing by five points. And it's going to take a lot for the top seeded player in this tournament. To try and get back on track. Or Saurabh Verma is going to be taking the first set. If it continues like this. That is out. But our officials say that the point goes the way of uh, Gulshan. So Karthike Gulshan uh, closing that gap down to just four points. That was a mind-blowing rally. I must say, at a couple of points in time, both these players looked like they were not in control. But such a wonderful finish to the rally. And Saurabh gets the point. At times, it was uh, Kartikeya Gulshan Kumar who looked like to go for the kill and would finish the point. But amazing. But one thing is clear. Saurabh Verma thrives on rallies. He has this ability to pick out extreme angles as well. For the opponent to move around and Saurabh Verma is on a game point now. It's 2014 in the first game. Mm. 
21-14. You see Saurav Verma clenching a fist there. And he knows that he is in the space where he wants to be. He has won the first game against a younger opponent in uh, Kartikeya Saurabh, uh, Kartikeya Gulshan Kumar. So it's been a good progress so far for Saurabh Verma at this 37 national games individual badminton championship here on the line. And this is the quarterfinals and you see this knockout format every match is like a final there's no chance that a player can relax against any opponent you have to be at your best all the time and Saurabh Verma has shown incredible application here getting adjusted to the court and the drift on the court number one to dominate Kartike Gulchan Kumar who is uh, definitely a talented uh, bloke on the Indian badminton circuit and I'm sure in the second game he will try to put Saurabh Verma on the wrong foot and come up with some surprise and that's what every player would like to do when they go down in the first game the second game is another chance to make a comeback and strike level in the match so let's wait and watch and see what Kartikeya Gulshan Kumar can do we saw what Saurabh Verma is capable of and he will start the game to love all And the first points of uh, this game going to Verma once again starting off well. We'll be looking to win this set and close the match out against Kartike from Delhi playing in neon and black against Saurabh Verma in pink and blue. And that is why say our officials and with that, Gulchan also opens his account for this set. Two one, Saurabh Verma there with a very accurate smash, landing well within bounds. No chance for Gulchan Kumar to return that smash We've got a very exciting game on our hands out here on center court another point for Saurabh Verma who is leading as well on the overall leads by one set and is leading in this game 3-1 to serve A flurry of exchanges out there and that lengthy rally between both players which has seen once again sort of Verma coming out victorious he wants to play the long game he is getting his opponent a little flustered 4-1 is his lead he is trying to prolong each point and he knows he can win it that in that sense excellent play from sort of Verma This time Kartikeya Gulshan Kumar drives ferociously and Saurabh Verma couldn't connect well. But you're right, it's Saurabh Verma's game here for all to see. He's trying to cast a spell with his rallying prowess, his movement 
His movement is exceptional around the court. Fantastic drop shot uh, this time by Saurabh Verma. See the movement uh, Saurabh, Saurabh Verma is uh, making is amazing. The footwork is so immaculate and that means he is in the right position at the right time to control the rally. And Kartikeya Gulshan Kumar has been unable to try and force a change and control the tempo of this contest. That's right, Neeraj. Another smash out there. I think Saurabh Verma is uh, anticipating his opponent's move uh, brilliantly. He's positioning himself in the right place. He knows exactly where the return is going to be headed. And he is doing a fantastic job of knowing exactly what to expect from his opponent. I think that has been the hallmark of his game in these long rallies that he's been having. His positioning, as, as you can see when uh, Kartike is about to smash... He positioned himself exactly where he knows the hit is going to be coming in. And that is one of the secrets to this score being 6-2 in favor of Saurabh Verma. Excellent uh, going here by Saurabh Verma. The class is there for everybody to see. Uh, a spell of... Uh, COVID and uh, the period he spent on the sidelines must have uh, hurt his rankings and his ambition for the year. But you definitely know that he is recovered and is now focused. As he told us earlier, that he wants to take it by every match per match and wants to progress up in the rankings and be back to where he belongs. That's Saurabh Verma, India international shuttler here at the national games and uh, Kartikeya Gulshan Kumar the youngster from Delhi seven years younger to Saurabh Verma he is having a tough time not just on court but off the court as well he is having a little bit of a medical attention for some niggle in his uh, right leg and we hope that he can come back and try and make a match of uh, this contest against Saurabh Verma, who leads 7-2 uh, in the second game. Yes, uh, there's lots of action happening. There's uh, lots of exciting action, in fact, I must say, happening on court number two, where we have Kavya Gupta and Deep, Deep Shika Singh from Delhi taking on Priya Devi and Maheshwari Devi. That game has gone into its uh, tiebreaker. It was the first set was won by the girls from Delhi. The second was taken by the girls from Manipur. And now we are in the tiebreaker out there. And our focus is on center court where Saurabh Verma is serving on 8-2. Once again, Saurabh Verma there with a furious set of uh, hits. His ability to anticipate and smash is just phenomenal in this game. 9-2 is the, is the score right now. And once again, Kartike is saying that there must be some issue with the bird. Wants to change it up. And Saurabh Verma did not disagree with him. He has kept his focus, kept his concentration and has his opponent on the mat, so to say. 9-2, he leads. Out is what the ref says. 10-2 in this game. Saurabh Verma there once again taking an 8-point lead against the highest seeded opponent. Is a veteran in the sport as well. But he has been out for a while and he's slowly making his way back in. Of course, Kartike Gulshan Kumar with another point there to his name. In the other game, the girls from Delhi have won the 
Uh, exciting match on court number two. The pair of uh, Kavya Gupta and Dipshika Singh beating Priya Devi and Maneshwari Devi in the third set. Exciting, exciting game. The first set went to the girls from Manipur, 21-15. Uh, the second was uh, taken by the girls from Delhi, of course, and now the girls from Delhi winning the third set. Fantastic games of uh, badminton we've seen out here today. Absolutely intense with uh, no easy shots. Of course, there have been some games where the players have been very dominant over their opponents. But overall, this has been a tight contest. Especially out here on court one where we've had Gulshan Kumar from Delhi taking on Saurabh Varma from MP. As you can see, Saurabh Varma grabbing a bite of fruit, trying to recover in this game he leads by eight points fantastic lead and the game continues on court number one and at the net Gulshan Kumar, uh, Kartike Gulshan Kumar with a point. He's going to have to find some answer, Sham, if he's going to try and uh, get back into this game. Uh, Elroy, uh, rightly you said, in any game, he has to get the whole game. भरोसे पर उम्मीद करता है और उनके मन में भरोसा है वो किसी भी क्षण बाउंस बैक हो कर सकते हैं सो यही खेल यही हालत हम यहाँ देखने को मिल रही कोर्ट एक पे श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी स्टेडियम के इस कोर्ट नंबर एक से फिलहाल जो स्कोर मौजूदा है वो बारह चार का है ऑलमोस्ट एट अंकों की बढ़त लिए हुए वर्मा ट्वेल्व फोर Nicely left there by Gulshan Kumar. 5-12 is the score. 5 के अंकों पे ए मैच फिलहाल शुरू है. बहुत ही जोरदार मुकाबला शुरू है. फिर भी थोड़ी सी अंकों की बात करें. Nice placement करने की कोशिश, लेकिन कामयाबी नहीं मिल सकी. 13-5 is the score. 13-5 फिलहाल जो मौजूदा स्कोर है. 13-5 के ऊपर, almost फिर एक बार अच्छा जजमेन वहाँ 6-13, 6-13 is the score, 6-13 Nice smash, side smash from Verma. Our score most to 14-6. Verma ji ne pehla match apne naam already kar chuki hai. Aur dusre match mein bhoot hi badat liye hoi. 14-6. Mojuda score 14-6. Achha placement. और एक अंकों का इजाफा गुलशन के खाते में सात फोर्टीन सात अंकों की बढ़त बहुत ही बढ़िया दिलचस्प मैच यहाँ हो रही है डॉक्टर श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी स्टेडियम के कोर्ट नंबर एक से फिलहाल सभी जो चार कोर्ट यहाँ फिलहाल मौजूद है चारों ही कोर्टों पे बहुत बढ़िया तरह से खेल शुरू है और दर्शक उतने ही अंदाज में हर एक खिलाड़ी का हौसला बढ़ाते हुए यहाँ नजर आए हैं दूरदर्शन के माध्यम से ये सीधा प्रसारण आप तक हम पहुँचा रहे हैं इस बैडमिंटन प्रतियोगिता का जो क्वार्टर फाइनल मैच चल रहे स्कोर 15-7, 15-7 इज द स्कोर एट द मोमेंट और अच्छा तालमेल की
अच्छा स्मैश फ्रॉम वर्मा 16-7 इस स्कोर 16-7 के स्कोर पे बहुत ही जबरदस्त मैच यहाँ देखने को मिल रही है डॉक्टर श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी स्टेडियम के इस कोल्ड नंबर एक से बहुत ही जबरदस्त मैच शुरू है और प्लेसमेन और जबरदस्त एक्शन पैक्ट खेल यहाँ देखने को मिल रहे हैं और इसी अंदाज में अगर ये मैच चला गया तो बहुत ही जल्द ये मैच खत्म होने वाले हैं क्योंकि पहला जो सेट वर्मा जी ने अपने नाम ऑलरेडी कर चुके हैं एक्सलेंट प्लेसमेंट देयर फ्रॉम गुलशन कुमार कार्तिके हैज टू ट्राई समथिंग डिफरेंट ही इज बीन आउट प्लेड इन दिस मैच एंटायरली बाय हिज ओपोनेंट इज जस्ट बीन अ गेम अ वन साइडेड गेम ही हैज बीन ट्राइंग हिज बेस्ट ईच पॉइंट हैज बीन फॉट हार्ड बट इट द द स्कोर डज वुड नॉट रिफ्लेक्ट दैट इफ यू जस्ट ट्यून इनटू दिस गेम यू विल बी वंडरिंग हाउ This score is so one-sided, but it has been a tight contest. But once again, Saurabh Verma making his comeback on the trail. 17-8 is where he leads and serves now. Another point for Kartike. is looking little flustered trying to figure out how he can close this gap diving across the court not able to reach it and thankfully for him i was out of bounds so he wins the point 17-10 a 7 point lead for saurabh verma we also have on court number 3 akarshi kashyap who is the number one seeded player in this tournament taking on shruti mandad mundada from maharashtra it's an exciting game which is happening on court number 3 oh, shivan gold no barua 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 and dono barua hota na barua ani anupama upadhyay she is also very good player एक अंकों का हिसाब होते हुए 18-10 इज द स्कोर एट मोमेंट ऑफ वर्मा टू सर्व and that was a well placed uh, shot drop shot there from uh, Kartike Gulshan 6 points is what he's managed to reduce this gap down to it was almost 9 points at one point of time in this match it's down to 6 now he's going to have to work hard as Saurabh Verma is very very close to winning this game and uh, he marches on 19 points now he's accumulated just 2 points away from winning the game and the match it's going to be a very very hard fought victory for him as you can see both set of players sweating it out and while it would look the score line would look straight forward sets each point has been a very tough rally absolutely clueless to that placement of a shot there from saurabh verma one point away match point for saurabh verma And uh, yes, with that smashing hit down the line, both sets of players will acknowledge that it has been a very, very good game of badminton, which has gone the way of uh, Saurabh Verma, 
fantastic performance from him making his way back into the circuit he would be looking to win or at least get on to the medal platform from on uh, the national games out here what a lovely lovely match we've seen out here competitive badminton on court number 1 and as i said we also have on court number 3 the number 1 seeded women's player akarshi kashyap taking on shruti mundada and that match is happening on court 3 with akarshi leading 21-14 that's the second a uh, set which is on which has shruti mundada sev leading 1715 we will be having our very own neeraj in conversation with the winner of uh, court number 1 saurabh verma who is going to be in conversation with neeraj and in the commentary box i am joined with uh, my colleague dilip who is just joined us out here is going to be with us for this next game but but we have saurabh verma in conversation with a commentator Neeraj has ensured that he will move on to the semi-finals here in the men's singles individual competition what an exceptional performance 21 14 21 12 12 against a uh, younger kartikeya gulchan kumar from delhi saurab uh, we were treated to a very entertaining match there are so many brilliant rallies and you were on top of most of them take us to the match uh, yeah it was a good match today he also was he was also playing really good in the starting of the match uh, uh, we went through quite long rallies and uh, that's how i got the rhythm and later on i took my chances uh, whether it is it was from net or from back court so i made sure that whenever i got the opportunity i will take it you moved so well and your positioning your footwork was really good but is there any other area of the game that you would like to improve for the semi finals yeah definitely uh, uh, i made uh, errors uh, uh, in patches especially uh, in the second game when i was leading 11 2 11 3 uh, i i could have uh, gone through uh, straight away uh, but i made a uh, few errors uh, on the defense and from the net also so i made sure that uh, next time when i play i made sure that those mistakes will not be repeated you have made a habit of uh, ousting the younger uh, players 25 year old uh, ragu earlier now 23 year old kartikeyan gulshan kumar does that give you more satisfaction and motivation as well uh, uh yeah definitely but uh, i don't see uh, uh, my uh, age of my opponents basically uh, at this time of my career because uh, everyone is going to be uh, top of uh, my game because uh, as i am growing old they are all younger and they they are super fit so i made sure that whenever i have the opportunity to uh, uh, finish off the shuttle I, i just took the chances well played saurabh verma and may you continue playing better and better thank you so much so we saw a fantastic uh, straight game victory for saurabh verma cheers now and we will see many more in this uh, badminton competition at the dr shama prasad mukherjee stadium right now let's get back to the commentators box as uh, one more uh, match is uh, to be played before we come to the close of this season uh, of this uh, session back to elroy in the commentators box that was a uh, neeraj day in conversation with saurabh verma who has uh, been victorious and has qualified for the semi finals will be looking to win a medal for sure he's already in contention for the bronze and of course he will be looking to do uh, one better going in for gold or silver as i said before i'm joining the stu in the commentary box by my colleague uh, dilip uh, vaze uh, good evening dilip uh, it's nice to be out here we got our last match for the day on court 1 happening next सभी दर्शकों को बहुत बढ़िया शाम और मैं दिलीप आपके साथ इस बार हम देखने जा रहे हैं वुमेंस डबल और इस वुमेंस डबल्स का जो क्वार्टर फाइनल अभी यहाँ पे खेला जा रहा है उसमें हम देख सकते हैं खुशी गुप्ता और कनिका कंवल और उसके अपोजिट है अरुबारा आर और वर्षिनी वी एस तमिलनाडु तमिलनाडु की ये टीम खेलेगी दिल्ली की टीम के साथ और खुशी गुप्ता कनिका कंवल ये दोनों दिल्ली की खिलाड़ी है तो उनके अपोजिट है अरुबाला आर और वर्षिनी वी एस तमिलनाडु के कुछ ही देर के बाद यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हो यहाँ पे वार्म अप सेशन अभी चल रहा है 
कुछ ही देर के बाद हम इन एक्शन इन चारों प्लेयर्स को देख सकते हैं और जिस तरह से आपने गुलशन कुमार और एस वर्मा सौरभ वर्मा का जो आपने मैच देखा जिस तरह से इन दोनों का एनर्जेटिक परफॉर्मेंस आपने देखा और इसमें सौरभ वर्मा ने बाजी मार ली थी और सौरभ वर्मा उससे पहले आपने देखा होगा नितिन यचवी और पृथ्वी रॉय की, की विनिंग टीम आपने देखी होगी तो इस तरह से आज का ये आखिरी सेशन हम आपको श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी स्टेडियम से सीधे लेकर आ रहे हैं सीधा प्रसारण श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी स्टेडियम से थर्टी नेशनल गेम्स गोवा में शुरू हो चुके हैं ये कुछ देर के बाद हम फिर से तैयार हो जाएंगे इन सब चीज़ों के लिए जो एक्शन और रिएक्शन का जो खेल है यहाँ पे हमको देखने को मिलेगा फिर से एक बार खुशी गुप्ता और कनिका कवल दिल्ली से इनके अपोजिट है अरुबाला आर और वर्षिनी वी एस तमिलनाडु से ये वुमेंस डबल्स है और इनका क्वार्टर फाइनल अब यहाँ पे खेला जा रहा है Yes, the girls in blue, uh, Arul Bala and uh, Varshini from Tamil Nadu, the second seeded players out here taking on the girls from Delhi, Kushi and Kanika in black. Yeah, we're going for an exciting game. This is the last match for today on uh, court number one in the quarterfinals. It's going to be exciting. The officials are ready to get play underway, and we are good to go as well. The players with a little bit of a pat on the hands let's go pehla ank arjit karte hue arubala aur varshini tamil nadu ki ek khiladiyan aur kuch bhatka hua shot yahan pe delhi ki team dwara delhi ki khushi gupta aur kanika kaval ओ oh, बहुत बढ़िया स्मैश यहाँ पे आपको देखने को मिला या दिल्ली की टीम द्वारा अब सर्विस करने के लिए तैयार दिल्ली की टीम खुशी गुप्ता और कनिका कवल बहुत बढ़िया यहाँ पे दिल्ली के टीम द्वारा जो आंसर यहाँ पे दिया गया पहले दो पॉइंट्स आपने देखे होंगे किस तरह से तमिलनाडु की टीम ने यहाँ पे अर्जित किए थे अभी दिल्ली की टीम वापस आते हुए इस गेम में दो दो की बराबरी पर आप देख सकते हो कोशी गुप्ता कनिका कंवल का जो आ, जो आंसर था हर एक शॉट के लिए वो यहाँ से दिखाई दिखा देने लगा है बहुत बढ़िया यहाँ पे तमिलनाडु की टीम अर्जित करते हुए बहुत ही तगड़ी फाइट अभी यहाँ पे हमको देखने को मिलने वाली है जिस तरह का माहौल यहाँ पे हो चुका है वो माहौल हमें बता रहा है कि इन दोनों के बीच में जो क्वार्टर फाइनल की मैच है वो बहुत ही जबरदस्त होने वाली है फिर से यहाँ पे अंकर्जित करते हुए तमिलनाडु की टीम अरुबाला अरुल बाला और वर्षिनी वीएस अरुल बाला और वर्षिनी वीएस सेकंड सेकेंड टीम यहाँ पे आपको नजर आ रही है अभी तमिलनाडु की टीम सर्विस करने के लिए तैयार and that is uh, in bounds as uh, the officials say 3 4 the girls from uh, delhi serving in this exciting game but just as that one point saved one point given away the girls from tamil nadu the second seeded pair of uh, arul bala and uh, varshini from tamil nadu lead 5 3 with the service theirs oh wow 
Wow, that was a, a very well smashed, precise, just in the corner, right in the corner, with the girls from uh, Tamil Nadu winning the sixth point of the game. Varshini there in complete control uh, if that rally taking command from the back of the court dominating both players of uh, Khushi and Kanika no answer to uh, Varshini's uh, power hitting thoda sa bhatka hua ye shot tha तमिलनाडु द्वारा तो यहां पे अंक अर्जित किया है दिल्ली की टीम ने चार सात तीन अंकों की बढ़त है फिर भी तमिलनाडु टीम के पास बहुत बढ़िया यहां पे जो रिले देखने को मिला और इस रिले में हमने तमिलनाडु तमिलनाडु ने पॉइंट अर्जित करते हुए देखा तमिलनाडु की टीम अरुल बाला आर और वर्षनी बी एस यहाँ पे लीड करते हुए चार अंक की लीड यहाँ पे अभी तमिलनाडु की टीम को मिलती हुई And that is a point, a hard fought, hard fought point for the girls from Delhi. They now serve at 5-8. The pair of Kushi and Kanika have been under a lot of pressure in the opening stages of this game out here on court one from the Tamil Nadu pair in blue and black. नौ अंक अर्जित किए हैं तमिलनाडु की टीम ने इस बार और जिस तरह का खेल यहाँ पे दोनों टीमों के बीच में चल रहा है उसमें ऐसा लग रहा है कि दिल्ली वालों के पास ये इसका उत्तर नहीं है फिर भी यहाँ पे बहुत बढ़िया शॉट फिर दिल्ली के द्वारा और दिल्ली ने अंक अर्जित किया है छः अंक अभी दिल्ली के हुए तीन पॉइंट आगे तमिलनाडु की टीम छः नौ ये अंक तालिका अभी हमें बता रही है सात नौ अभी फिर से एक बार दिल्ली की टीम ने यह अंक अर्जित किया है In this game, the girls from Tamil Nadu are leading 10-7. The girls from Delhi are putting on a good fight, not letting the lead grow by too much. At one point, there was a five-point lead, but now it's just down to three. And uh, unfortunately, that was uh, straight down the middle. It was very difficult for uh, Kanika to return that. Arul Bala and uh, Varshini from Tamil Nadu have uh, taken the lead in this uh, fourth game in the evening session, the mid-match break. The coaches from Tamil Nadu having a word with their players, whereas the coaches from Delhi are talking to their wards as well. This is going to be a tough encounter. The quarterfinals and the teams that will uh, progress to the semis will be in, in contention for a medal at the national games. A very prestigious event for many of the players who are trying to, of course, 
secure a medal at the games ensuring that they bring in a lot of joy and pride to their states फिर से एक बार तैयार यहाँ पे ब्रेक के बाद दोनों टीमें तमिलनाडु से अरुल बाला आर और वर्षनी बी एस और दिल्ली की टीम की तरफ से खुशी गुप्ता और कनिका कवल यहाँ पे खेला जा रहा है वुमेन्स डबल्स का क्वार्टर फाइनल दिल्ली की टीम द्वारा अंकर्जित किया गया है अभी एट इलेवन आठ ग्यारह फिर भी यहाँ पे कुछ अंकों की बढ़त तमिलनाडु टीम के पास तमिलनाडु का जो जवाब होता है वो बहुत ही करारा जवाब यहाँ पे हमको देखने को मिलता है जैसे ही दिल्ली की टीम अंक अर्जित करती है वैसे ही उसका तुरंत दूसरा जो प्रहार होता है वो अंक अर्जित करने वाला ही प्रहार तमिलनाडु की टीम की तरफ से हमको देखने को मिलता है बारह पॉइंट अभी यहाँ हो चुके हैं uh despairing groan from uh, varshini she looks to the heavens and she can't figure out how she did not get that shot over the net hitting the tape of the net and successful in that point varshini using all her height advantage against he, the opponent on the other side and they now serve 13-9 in this game and with that delhi get another point at the net and they'll be serving with the score reading 10-13 in favor of khushi and kanika from delhi taking on the second seeded pair of arul bala and uh, varshini from tamil nadu bahut badhiya khel ka talmel yahan pe delhi ki team dwara dikhai de raha hai delhi ki team ne ank arjit kiya hai abhi 11 ank ho chuke hai delhi ki team ki taraf se aur 13 ank ho chuke hai tamil nadu ki team ke सोचा था थोड़ा सा बाहर हो जाएगा पर दिल्ली की टीम ने यहाँ पे जिस तरह का खेल दिखाया है वो काबिल तारीफ है जो पाँच छः अंक की बढ़त थी वो अभी कम होते होते एक अंक के पास आ चुकी है बहुत बढ़िया टीम तमिलनाडु यहाँ पे एक अंक अर्जित करते हुए कुछ समय मांगा गया है यहाँ पे एक प्लेयर्स द्वारा जितना खेल अभी तक हमने देखा उसमें दोनों टीमें बराबरी का खेल दिखाते हुए यहाँ पे अभी आप रिप्ले में देख सकते हो किस तरह से यहाँ पे अंक अर्जित किया है आप देख रहे हो ये खेल श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी डॉक्टर श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी स्टेडियम तालीगांव बम गोवा से और थर्टी नेशनल गेम्स का ये जो खेल है यहाँ पे शुरू हो चुका है फिर से टीम तमिलनाडु तैयार सर्व करने के लिए that was a well earned rally point for khushi and kanika they are making their way slowly back into this game the score reading 13 14 in favor of the girls from tamil nadu with one point lead right now as delhi serve and uh, what a remarkable uh, fight back from the delhi girls they've leveled the score 14 all a shake of the head from uh, varshini knowing that they could have extended their lead and been a little more dominant in this game but it's even stevens right now 14 all 
फिर से एक बार यहाँ पे गलती हो चुकी है और इस गलती का खामियाजा दिल्ली को भुगतना पड़ेगा और इसी की वजह से तमिलनाडु ने एक अंक अर्जित यहाँ पे किया हुआ है तमिलनाडु की टीम अब एक पॉइंट से आगे सर्व करने के लिए तमिलनाडु तैयार कोर्ट नंबर थ्री से अगर आपको एक जानकारी चाहिए तो हम यहाँ पे हम दे सकते हैं आकर्ष आकर्षी कश्यप उन्होंने 21 14 19 इक्कीस और 21 11 से ये मैच उन्होंने अपने नाम पे किया हुआ है कोर्ट नंबर थ्री पे यहाँ पे ये मैच चल रहा था सुबह जब हम बात कर रहे थे आकर्षी कश्यप के साथ तो उन्होंने बताया था कि थोड़ा उनको समय लगा इस समय से मेल जोल पिलाने में तो अभी मेरे ख्याल से उनका जो कंसंट्रेशन है वो बढ़िया हो चुका है और हमारे सामने से ये टीम अभी गुजरती हुई सिक्सटीन ऑल अभी का टीम अभी का जो अंक था अंक था वो तमिलनाडु की टीम ने अर्जित किया था एंड द प्लेयर्स टेकिंग अ बिट ऑफ अ ब्रीदर आउट हियर सिक्सटीन ऑल इन दिस क्लोजली कंटेस्टेड मैच दिस द फर्स्ट सेट एंड वी आर हैविंग अ रियली एक्साइटिंग गेम ऑन आर हैंड्स गर्ल्स फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु टेकिंग ऑन द गर्ल्स फ्रॉम डेली इन द डबल्स क्वार्टर फाइनल मैच गलती कर बैठी थोड़ी सी दिल्ली की टीम और अंक मिला है तमिलनाडु की टीम को अरुल बाला आर और वर्षनी वी एस को ये पॉइंट जो है मिल चुका है और फिर से तमिलनाडु की टीम तैयार सर्विस करने के लिए बहुत बढ़िया कम बैक यहाँ पर हमको तमिलनाडु की टीम के द्वारा दिखाई दे रहा है क्योंकि जिस तरह की फाइट बैक हमको देखने को मिली दिल्ली की टीम द्वारा उसके बाद यहाँ पे अगर हम देखें तो तमिलनाडु की टीम फिर से दो अंकों के साथ बढ़त बनाते हुए आप ये सीधा प्रसारण देख रहे हो डॉक्टर श्यामा प्रसाद मुखर्जी स्टेडियम से गोवा में 37 नेशनल गेम्स शुरू हो चुके हैं इसका सही आगाज जो है वो 26 तारीख को होने वाला है पर प्री ओपनिंग के गेम्स यहाँ पे बैडमिंटन के गेम्स यहाँ पे शुरू हो चुके हैं और फिर से एक बार तैयार तमिलनाडु की टीम सर्विस करने के लिए well judged they well judged and uh, they have now a three point lead the girls from tamil nadu arul bala and varshini uh, with that fantastic rally and varshini knew exactly where that was going to land she let it be as is uh, 19 16 with the girls from tamil nadu to serve now once again another point and they are just marching on after this uh, little break that they had when the scores were tied at 16 all 20 they are at set point now point 16 is uh, what the game is at four points for them to save this set the girls from delhi had their work cut out for them bahut badhiya bahut badhiya yahan pe ek game apne naam pe karte hue tamil nadu ki team jis tarah se पहले पॉइंट से इस टीम ने अपना जो दमखम दिखाया था उसी को बरकरार रखते हुए ये टीम आगे बढ़ती गई बीच में एक ऐसा समय आया जहां पे दोनों टीमें एक बराबर थी 16-16 के अंग दोनों टीमों के साथ थे पर उसके बाद जो कम बैक तमिलनाडु की टीम द्वारा हो किया गया जिस तरह की जजमेंट उनकी थी जो ड्रॉप आउटसाइड लाइन होने वाला था वो समझ में आया तमिलनाडु की टीम को और उन्होंने वो ड्रॉप अच्छी तरह से जज किया जहाँ पर अंक अर्जित करना शुरू किया वहाँ वहीं से आगे बढ़ते हुए 21-16 इस तरह से ये सेट ये गेम पहला गेम जो है अपने नाम पे किया हुआ है तमिलनाडु की टीम ने थोड़ा सा ब्रेक दो मिनट का अंतराल यहाँ पे और उस दो मिनट के अंतराल के बाद फिर से एक बार हम वही एक्साइटमेंट लेवल आप अभी तो बड़ी बड़ी होगी क्योंकि अगला सेट जो है अगली गेम जो है वो जीतने के लिए तैयार हो, हो रही है दिल्ली की टीम भी 
और दिल्ली की कोच जो है वो अपने प्लेयर्स के साथ कुछ सलाह मशवरा करते हुए यहाँ पे दिखाई दे रहे हैं तमिलनाडु की टीम बहुत ही कॉन्फिडेंट दिखाई दे रही है उनके कोच अभी वापस जा चुके हैं अपने सीट के पास अभी भी दिल्ली के कोच अपने प्लेयर्स के साथ थोड़ी बहुत बातचीत करते हुए फिर से एक बार कोर्ट पे दोनों टीम के प्लेयर्स तैयार यहाँ पे सर्विस करने के लिए इससे पहला वाला सेट तमिलनाडु की टीम ने मतलब अरुल बाला आर और वर्षनी वी इस टीम ने जीता था ये सेकेंड सेट जोड़ी है और इनके अपोजिट है दिल्ली की टीम खुशी गुप्ता और कनिका कंवल सर्विस करने के लिए तैयार तमिलनाडु की टीम हम पास द्वारा खेलने के लिए कनिका गुप्ता कनिका कंवल और खुशी गुप्ता ने एक अंक अर्जित किया है बहुत ही हल्के हाथों से खेलते हुए नेट हुआ था फिर भी जो प्रेशर डाला हुआ था वो प्रेशर बहुत ही बढ़िया था बहुत बढ़िया जजमेंट यहाँ पे दिल्ली की टीम की दूसरा अंक भी यहाँ पे अर्जित करते हुए दिल्ली की टीम खुशी गुप्ता और कनिका कंवल फिर से सर्विस के लिए तैयार girls from delhi have started off this set really well winning the first three points of this game three on the trot a hat trick of points from uh, kushi and kanika from delhi uh, determined to play out this game and take it to a tiebreaker set four points in a row Uh, the girls from Tamil Nadu look a little frazzled at the moment. Another excellent point in this game the girls from Delhi have taken a commanding 5 point lead in the second set. What is uh, what a change of events we've seen the girls in from uh, tamil nadu were pretty good and dominant in the first game and this is the first error that we've seen from delhi in this second set mere khayal se court badalne ke baad inki khelne ki disha bhi badal chuki hai aur tamil nadu ki team jo hai wo abhi 4 point piche chal rahi hai jis tarah ka commanding khel humko pehle set mein dekhne ko mila pehle game mein dekhne ko mila उस तरह का गेम अभी तक तमिलनाडु की टीम की तरफ से नहीं हो पाया है इसी की वजह से दिल्ली की टीम जो है चार अंक ज़्यादा अर्जित करते हुए यहाँ पे आगे बढ़ चुकी है पहला जो गेम था वो 21-16 से तमिलनाडु ने अपने नाम पे किया था और यहाँ पे बहुत बढ़िया जजमेंट दिल्ली के टीम द्वारा और दिल्ली ने फिर से एक बार अपना अपन, अपना जो पॉइंट टेरी है वो आगे बढ़ाते हुए छः अंक यहाँ पे अर्जित किए हैं एक अंक अर्जित करने के बाद छः अंक दिल्ली के टीम के दो अंक तमिलनाडु के टीम से एक गलती कर बैठे और उस गलती की वजह से तमिलनाडु को एक पॉइंट मिलता हुआ नेट पे जाके लगी सीधी शॉट और तमिलनाडु थ्री दिल्ली सिक्स बहुत बढ़िया माहौल यहाँ पे तैयार हो चुका है और इस माहौल का फायदा अभी तमिलनाडु की टीम उठाती हुई दिखाई दे रही है और एक अंक अर्जित करते हुए तमिलनाडु की टीम यहाँ पे जो अंकों का फासला है धीरे धीरे कम होता जा रहा है और इसी की वजह से तमिलनाडु के टीम का कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल भी बढ़ता हुआ दिखाई दे रहा है एब्सोल्युटली ट्रू दिलीप टू पॉइंट्स द लीड नाउ हैज बीन रिड्यूस्ड टू 
girls from Delhi feeling a bit of pressure from the top seeded team. They started off this set really well. And they will look to try and keep that pressure. But a little bit of miscommunication. Both players split. Not knowing, not knowing which uh, side they would actually take command of. And uh, hence losing the point as that was hit straight down the middle. 6-5. The score reads in favour of Delhi with the girls in Tamil Nadu serving. <laughs> 7 5. The girls in Delhi are looking to stay dominant. They started the set off winning the first four points without l losing a single point, but then the girls from Tamil Nadu got their act together and uh, won a couple of points themselves the lead now cut down to just two points the top seeded pair of Harul Bala and Varshani will be looking to try and close this match out they wouldn't want to take it to a third set it should mean a lot more pressure on them so they will be looking to try and uh, close this game out दिल्ली की टीम द्वारा अंक अर्जित करते हुए खुशी गुप्ता और कनिका कवल यहाँ पे थोड़ा सा डोमिनेंट गेम अपना दिखाते हुए तमिलनाडु की टीम जो है थोड़ी सी पीछे जाती हुई चार अंकों की बढ़त अब दिल्ली की टीम के पास इस अंक की वजह से अब सर्विस दिल्ली की टीम के पास And a uh, five point lead is now being established from the Delhi girls. Uh, that was a, a forced error there. It looked like it was going out of bounds, and they still forced the girls from Tamil Nadu to play that shot and uh, couldn't clear the net. 10 5. This looks like it's going to be a great match. Girls from Delhi not willing to let go. Looking to win the second set and take this game into a tiebreaker as we have a change in the shuttle feathers, not up to the standards that the players wish, and hence we resume again with Delhi serving 10 6. And just like that, the mid match break will be. A uh, happier break for the girls from Delhi. Coach also just telling them to continue doing what they are doing. And uh, now it is time for the coach of Karnataka to impart some wisdom to his players. They are going to be having a deep conversation. The girls from uh, Tamil Nadu with the coach and assistant coach. Uh, talking their way into what needs to change uh, to change their fortunes in this match. Dilip, it's been an exciting game. Uh, the top seeded pair from Tamil Nadu coming under pressure from the unseeded door from Delhi. I think that the break we saw in the game was seen in the first game. After that break, the comeback of Delhi was seen in the first game. Maybe the same comeback we can see in Tamil Nadu. The conversation was seen in the both teams and coaches. वो एनर्जी लेवल अभी भी बरकरार रखना चाहते हैं दोनों टीमों की तरफ से तो फिर से एक बार तैयार यहाँ पे दिल्ली की टीम सर्व करने के लिए कुछ भटका हुआ शॉट यहाँ पे दिल्ली की तरफ से और उस भटके हुए शॉट की वजह से एक अंक अर्जित किया है तमिलनाडु की टीम ने ये शायद इनका बूस्टिंग पॉइंट हो सकता है एलरॉय Absolutely right, uh, Dilip. This is uh, a crucial point in this match. 
it if it swings in the favor of delhi then this game will go into a tiebreaker but of course if tamil nadu can uh, rescue some points and uh, put a little pressure on their opponents you might see them crack under pressure just like that the girls from tamil nadu inching their way into this uh, game 8 11 they're serving now the duo of arul bala and uh, varshini this has been an intense match both sets of players feeling the pressure and the girls from tamil nadu higher ranked than their opponents but the girls from delhi definitely have been playing better in this set कम बैक देखने को मिल रहा है यहाँ पे तमिलनाडु की टीम द्वारा और तीन अंकों की बढ़त फिर भी दिल्ली के पास अभी तमिलनाडु की टीम सौ करने के लिए तैयार बहुत बढ़िया स्मैश हमको यहाँ पे देखने को मिला है और इस ये जो स्मैश था तमिलनाडु की टीम की तरफ से वो कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल यहाँ पे जो बिल्ट अप होता हुआ दिखाई दे रहा है तमिलनाडु के टीम का इस शॉट में वो कॉन्फिडेंस दिखाई दे रहा था और उस शॉट की वजह से ही तमिलनाडु का जो फासला है दिल्ली के साथ वो दो अंकों से दो अंकों की जो लीड है वो दिल्ली के पास अभी भी बरकरार एंड दैट इज out is what the chair empire says the lead once again stretches to 3 points the girls from delhi will be hoping that they can keep this going and win this set taking the game to a tiebreaker girls from delhi trying their level best to control the game from the back end of the court but the experienced duo from uh, tamil nadu up to it up to their match games and of course now just a two point lead once again the girls from tamil nadu fighting their way back into this match and uh, causing forcing errors from the girls from delhi they have literally fought their way back up and i think the breaks you know all the times we've had the breaks you've seen a seesaw in turn of events sahi baat sahi baat sahi baat all right इस ब्रेक के बाद ही हमको टीम जो गेम का जो असली मजा है वो ब्रेक के बाद देखने को मिला है इस कम से कम इस गेम में तो फॉल्ट इन सर्व देर एन एर वेरी सिली एर देर बाय द तमिलनाडु गर्ल्स ऑन देयर सर्व दे शुड हैव हैड मोर कंट्रोल ओवर दैट गिफ्टिंग द लीड वंस अगेन टू डेली यहाँ पे तमिलनाडु की टीम फिर से एक बार गलती करती कर बैठी और एक आसान सा अंक जो है वो दिल्ली को दिल्ली के टीम को दे बैठी है इसकी वजह से फिर से एक बार ये जो फासला है अंकों का बढ़ता हुआ दिल्ली की टीम लीड करती है तीन अंकों के साथ चौदह ग्यारह के साथ ये गलती हो गई है यहाँ दिल्ली की टीम के द्वारा नेट पे जाके लग चुकी है शॉट इसी की वजह से यहाँ पे अंक मिला है तमिलनाडु की टीम को 12-14 बहुत बढ़िया कम बैक यहाँ पे हमको देखने को मिल रहा है तमिलनाडु की टीम द्वारा तेरह अंक अर्जित कर चुकी है चौदह पॉइंट यहाँ पे हो हो चुके हैं दिल्ली के टीम के 13-14 अभी सौ करने वाली है तमिलनाडु की टीम बहुत ही बढ़िया तालमेल दोनों प्लेयर्स के बीच में हमको दिखाई दे रहा है 13-14 दिस इज अ वेरी एक्साइटिंग गेम एंड कूड टू द गर्ल्स फ्रॉम डेली हु हैव गिवन अ गुड अकाउंट ऑफ देम इन दिस सेट एंड द प्लेयर्स फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु ऑल्सो शोइंग दियर मेटल as to why they are the top seeded team they are not just giving up the lead at one point in this game was 5 points but the game has been drawn even stevens and now once again delhi taking a slender 2 point lead in the second set
खेल का सिलसिला ऐसा ही चलता रहा तो शायद हमें तीसरा सेट भी तीसरा गेम भी यहाँ पे देखने को मिले पर अभी अंकों का फासला कम करते हुए तमिलनाडु की टीम ने अंक अर्जित किए हैं चौदह दिल्ली की टीम के पॉइंट्स है फिफ्टीन पंद्रह चौदह और पंद्रह अभी फासला कम होता हुआ That is out is what the umpire says. Two point lead. This game has been a seesaw battle between Delhi and uh, Tamil Nadu. Of course, both sets of players trying to go for gold medals out here in this qualifier, the quarterfinals at the national games. बहुत बढ़िया जवाब यहाँ पे तमिलनाडु की टीम द्वारा अंकर्जित किया है तमिलनाडु की टीम ने 15, 16 अभी अंकों का गणित अगर हम देखें तो एक ही अंक का फासला अभी दोनों टीम के बीच में बहुत ही उत्साहवर्धक अब ये और एक्साइटमेंट लेवल जो है वो बढ़ाने वाला गेम यहाँ पे हमको देखने को मिल रहा है दिल्ली की टीम खुशी गुप्ता और कनिका कवल और तमिलनाडु की टीम सेकंड सीडेड टीम अरुल बाला आर और वर्षनी वी एस गलती करने के लिए मजबूर किया यहाँ पे 16, 16. फिर से वही एलरॉय वही नंबर यहाँ पे हमको दिखाई दे रहा है 16, 16. Yes, this is absolutely right, Dilip. It was 16, 16 in the first game as well, and that is when the girls from Tamil Nadu pulled ahead. Will they be able to do it once again? They have fought back from uh, being down 4-0 to 5, 10-15, and now they are back in level point 16, 16. But As was in the first game, they have once again taken the lead for the first time in this set. And the pressure seems to be coming to the fore for the girls from Delhi. This is exactly what happened in the first game. Two point lead now for the girls is from Tamil Nadu. You can see the pressure and of course the physicality of the game coming to the fore. The girls from Delhi, they are feeling the pressure. They feeling the heat of this match. The girls from Tamil Nadu, ice cold veins. They are cool as a cucumber, as they say. बहुत बढ़िया शब्द यहाँ पे इस्तेमाल करते हुए एलरॉय साहब बहुत ठंडे दिमाग से गेम यहाँ पे तमिलनाडु जो है अपना आगे बढ़ाता हुआ और ये टीम जो है तीन अंक से अभी आगे जा चुकी है और जो हमने 16-16 का 16-16 का मेरे ख्याल से ये पायदान है उसके उसी के बाद वहाँ से जो गेम है आगे बढ़ता है एलरॉय जिस तरह से हमने पहले गेम में भी देखा अब वही नज़ारा हमको फिर से दूसरे गेम में भी देखने को मिल रहा है बहुत बढ़िया स्मैश यहाँ पे और उसका उत्तर जो है दिल्ली के टीम के पास नहीं था और इसी के साथ सिर्फ एक अंक दूर इस गेम को अपने अपने हक में करने के लिए यस फोक्स दे आर ऑन मैच पॉइंट नाउ द गर्ल्स फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु दे हैव बीन एक्सेलेंट इन दिस फाइट बैक At one point of time, it looked like this game was going as heading towards a tiebreaker, but uh, just as the first set started, we now see Tamil Nadu once again in the lead, and with that, the girls from Tamil Nadu, the second-seeded pair of uh, Arul Bala and uh, Varshini. Winning that match with a scoreline of 21-16, 21-16. Yes, you heard that right. 21-16, 21-16. Brilliant game from the girls in Tamil Nadu. They were, they were at all points of this match, trailing till the scores were at 16. And uh, once they tied the score at 16 points each, they were very, very dominant. ice cool as 
they completed that match in some style it was a hectic match and of course the pressure did seem to get to the girls from delhi a very well fought match from the girls from uh, tamil nadu arul bala and varshini there from tamil nadu winning that game and will be in conversation with dilip vaze my colleague who will be looking to have a word with them what a stupendous performance coming back in that second set they did have complete control in the first set but they came back in the second set after they were trailing and i'm sure they're going to share their thoughts with dilip out here थर्टी सेवन नेशनल गेम्स यहाँ पे चल रहे हैं और यहाँ पे अभी हमने देखा कि वुमेंस डबल्स का क्वार्टर फाइनल चल रहा था और तमिलनाडु की टीम अरुल बाला और वर्षनी 21-16, 21-16 से ये जो गेम है क्वार्टर फाइनल की वो जीत चुकी है ये तमिलनाडु की टीम जानते हैं इस खेल के बारे में जो अभी हमने देखा जो प्रदर्शन हमको यहाँ पे दिखाई दिया उसके बारे में तमिलनाडु की टीम की तरफ से सबसे पहले कॉन्ग्रेचुलेटिंग यू ये जो आपने गेम दिखाया उस गेम की वजह से जो क्वार्टर फाइनल अभी देखी बहुत बढ़िया यहाँ पे आपको दिल्ली की टीम द्वारा भी बहुत बढ़िया रिप्लाई मिला क्या कहेंगे इस गेम के बारे में आप थैंक यू वी आर एंड वी बोथ आर वेरी हैप्पी फॉर द विन सो या सो लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड फॉर द नेक्स्ट राउंड टुमारो सेमीफाइनल सेमीफाइनल्स अपने अगेंस्ट द महाराष्ट्र सिमरन रिंदिका सो या लेट्स सी मतलब आपको पता चल चुका है कि कौन अभी आपके सामने सेमीफाइनल्स में होने वाला है तो उसके लिए आप वो स्ट्रेटेजी क्या होगी सेमीफाइनल्स के लिए आपकी स्ट्रेटेजी क्या होगी जो अभी क्वार्टर फाइनल में जिस तरह का आपको फीडबैक मिल रहा था अपोजिट टीम के साथ उसके बारे में नो एनी स्ट्रेटी एस एच वी हैव प्लेड अगेंस्ट दैम ट्वाइस सो इट्स लाइक वन एंड वन फर्स्ट गेम फर्स्ट मैच दे वन सेकेंड वी हैव लॉस सो लेट्स सी सो वी आर लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड फॉर नेक्स्ट राउंड आप गोवा में हो और मुझे पूछना चाहिए कि आपको गोवा कैसा लग रहा है क्या आप इससे पहले भी कभी गोवा में खेलने के लिए आए हो या और किसी काम के लिए नो नो आई हैव नॉट बीन टू गोवा दिस इज माय फर्स्ट टाइम फॉर वेकेशन ऑफ अ टूर्नामेंट आई हैव नॉट बीन टू गोवा सो दिस इज माय फर्स्ट टाइम टू बी एट गोवा या आपके बारे में फॉर मी आल्सो इट्स फर्स्ट टाइम सो यहां का जो माहौल है क्या आपने इस कंडीशन को बखूबी निभाया समझ में आया किस तरह का कंडीशन है और उसके उसी के बाद आपने ये गेम प्लान तैयार किया है क्या नो फर्स्ट इट वाज इनिशियली अ बिट Uh, tough to yeah. get with that uh, flow of the court during the practice but as keep on going it's like it's fine we are getting used to it and yeah bahut badhiya aur aane wale semis ke liye bhi aapko best of luck ye the hamare sath arul bala aur varshini tamil nadu se 21 16 21 ye jo unka team ka score tha quarter final se bhi ye semis mein ja chuki hai aur yahi pe hum rokte hum khud ko kyunki aage commentary box mein jayenge seedhe apne elroy ke paas Uh, thank you so much uh, dilip that was uh, dilip in conversation with the winners from uh, tamil nadu arul bala and varshini there winning 21 16 uh, 21 16 in the match and uh, with that we are going to be drawing a conclusion to the broadcast of this game out here of the round of 16 and the quarter finals on uh, this uh, center court action of the first day of uh, the individual championships of the 37 national games this is the doodarshan network and uh, we will be resuming our broadcast tomorrow once again for the semi finals at 
10 a.m. where we will be seeing the semi-finals of the men's and women's singles game again along with the doubles and the mixed doubles uh, matches which will be happening tomorrow from 10 a.m. and you can catch all the live action right here with us out here in the commentary box we would like to say thank you to our team of uh, cameramen and engineers we'd like to say thank you to all of you for watching it we will resume action once again tomorrow along with my colleagues uh, Neeraj and uh, Dilip Vazay this is Alroy saying uh, good night from uh, Goa we will be seeing you tomorrow once again